What up? It's your tall guy with the one and only Dalen LA. We're That's back. right. This ain't no this ain't no ghost. Dalen is here. We're here to cover Scary Farm updates because this is the year, the 50th anniversary. Scary Farm is gonna be kicking off. Banana Heck yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be kicking off. Hell of a year, guys. Check it out. Last year I wasn't able to get a season past the knots, but it was a kick-ass year, let me tell you. Some great scare actors, great mazes. We said goodbye two fantastic mazes pumpkin eater and dark ride this year they released the season passes as of right now I'm making this video they're still on sale guys so at a great value it's only 150 bucks for every single day of scary farm so if you're really considering about going purchase it do yourself a favor go and purchase it before they're gone all right you guys checking over the update by ghost rider the depths it's still a thing here at scary farm i ain't mad about it that's one of my favorite mazes to go through during the event doesn't have the longest wait times as you can see that we still have the same props outside and up around the same lighthouse maybe it'll be its last year's who knows but check it out Man, guys. walking down boardwalk here i'm just getting quick flashbacks of carnival from last year you guys great actors top tier if you remember bobbins if you know bobbins you know you know she is a wild clown out here standing in front of what was known as Dark Ride, may God rest your soul. <laughs> um, man, it was one of my favorite attractions uh, for Scary Farm last year. It is gone now, something new is coming this year, guys. So when I was up on the sky cabin, you just saw a glimpse of some lumber laying down next to the building, nothing too major or anything, but hopefully we get some news and developments coming in the near future to see uh, what's gonna come to replace Dark Ride. It's got to be something good. It's got to carry its legacy. So you guys, there has been an interesting development over here by the arcade under Barry Tells that a house slash maze just might return here. Now, if we recall back to the walls that were shown from the sky cabin down here, you got some makeshift walls that are put up right here. Obviously, it doesn't particularly lead to anywhere, but it's sealing off something behind there. Not saying it's a maze, but it could be something related to Scary Farm. We got more development over here as well, right next to the Injustice Arcade. Interesting. Let's head on around. Now, what could come here? I mean, if we all know, Scary Zone last year was the Goring 20s. What you think, Dalen? Goring 20s? Maze? You'll take it or leave it? Take it. I'll take, take it. it. I'll take it. I'll take anything. We'll take anything. But a Goring rate, a Goring 20s maze wouldn't be too bad. Scary Zone is tight. Interactions are awesome. Let's see if there's any development around the corner real quick. I remember my early, early days of coming to Scary Farm. There was a maze back here next to the bumper cars. Jeez, it was related to clowns or some something Las Vegas. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna be real. It's a blur memory, but I do remember a maze being back here. Now the chances of something being put back here is very unlikely, but those walls say something potentially. So who knows? We're just gonna have to maybe wait and see. So if you guys know where this maze used to be at, if you know you know. Pumpkin Eater. Sadly, we are saying goodbye to him. We said goodbye to him last year actually. So we are getting something new within the maze. Now, I know there's a spot over here for an update. Let's go check it out. All right, you guys, so here uh, are just probably the leftovers of Pumpkin Eater from last year. Oh. Anyway, like I was saying, these are probably the same walls from Pumpkin Eater from last year. Uh, maybe they're using the same layout of Pumpkin Eater, just different theming. We have no confirmation as to what is gonna come. Just gonna say the famous three words, guys. We're gonna have to wait and see. We'll try to get the update from up there too. You guys, me and Dalen just popped into the toy store that's right here in Ghost Town. You can still pick up Dark Red merch and pumpkin, is pumpkin eater on them? Right here. Damn, you can still pick them up. These mazes are gone, so I mean, hey guys, you can still grab these. 
old Mays merchandise if you want. Paranormal Inc. too? Sheesh. And Forsaken Lake. I, Forsaken Lake ran it last year too. Oh. You've got hats on deck from Dark Red of Pumpkin Eater. So, if you guys are thinking, pull the trigger. Before this old merch is gone. Not sure how long it's been here though. Look at that. Forsaken Lake poster. Walking towards Grimoire, what we know as Mystery Lodge. It's gonna be the same. Probably gonna stay for the next three, four years maybe. Dalen, you get to experience it this year in a few months. Let's go. Some good stuff here. All right, you guys, now we're passing by a Wilderness Dance Hall where we know Origins has been here for a while. The question is, how much longer can it stay as Origins? I'm, I'm not hating. This is one of my favorite mazes to go through at Scary Farm. Sarah Connor's origin story to be the witch, dude. It's, it's a killer maze. I ain't gonna lie. Unless they continue the origin story of Calico somehow with another monster. This will be cool. The entrance is right here. This will be the entrance. And then the exit is way over there. Yeah, but this place is huge. Hang that witch. Hang, Hang that, that witch. witch. Can't wait. Possibly top three of last year, I would say. Fantastic maze. Honestly, it was a great maze. All right, you guys, that is gonna wrap it up for all the Scary Farm updates to this day. So, cannot wait to be back in the farm. Pick up those Scary Farm season passes. They're still on sale as of the recording of this video. By the time this video drops, I hope it's still on sale. Comment down below, drop a like, share this video, guys. You'll catch us talk at the next theme park. I am out of here.